hey what is up youtube welcome to another youtube video so today i'm going to cover a mistake i just did uh with my 3d printer this is a creality ender 3 pro so let's get right into it all right so just a slight uh correction it's uh the creality ender 3 not the 3 pro because the 3 pro is still running as you can see with no issues so the problem is gonna be the ender 3 as you can see here all right, so it first started with a thermal runaway code. And the thermal runaway is basically uh, when the printer is not able to control the temperature of the heating element. So it just throws up a uh, thermal runaway code. And that's just to prevent the printer from uh, causing a fire or something like that. So I went ahead and looked up the issue and ended up online on uh, Reddit. I read around and apparently you just have to replace the uh, temperature sensor. So I ended up replacing the thermistor or temperature sensor and the problem is still persistent. After that, I think I also swapped uh, the heating element from the other 3D printer just to check and see if that's what's wrong with it. And it turns out that was not the issue. So I was uh, really busy at that time, so I didn't mess with it. So I just let it sit and I kept using the other 3D printer. And uh, today I decided to troubleshoot it. All right, so this is the SKR Mini E3 that I have installed in here. So I swapped it out with this uh, uh, Creality version 4.2.7, uh, thinking that it was a faulty motherboard. And once I swapped it out with this one, I still have the thermal runaway issue. So I just removed this and put back the more advanced uh, SKR Mini E3 and kept testing so I kept having the thermal runaway error and ended up diagnosing the power supply and yep the power supply was the issue so let me go ahead and connect this so you can see the voltage and if we turn it on look at the output voltage 12.6 and fluctuating to 13 and up so that's not normal and uh, the Creality Ender 3 runs on 24 volts and the specs even state on the side right here that this is a 24 volts and a 15 amps power supply and this means that the power supply is uh, faulty this leads to the next step Alright, so I have this power supply as you can see here and it's uh, been really really handy to my DIY projects so I decided to hook this up and test it and this is where I ended up making the mistake. Alright, so since the original power supply is rated for 15 amps and 24 volts, I decided to uh, couple this power supply because it doesn't go up to 15 amps like the original uh, power supply so this goes up to only 8 amps but can go up to 60 volts so I ended up having to couple it with another power supply that can supply all the way up to 15 amps since this is limited to 8 amps I'm gonna have to crank up the voltage from this power supply and then step it down uh, over here so you can provide more current because this one is rated for 15 amps I completely forgot that this one does not uh, step down the voltage and this is what created the whole mess so I also reviewed these two power supplies so I will pin the video on the top right if you want to check it out so this one goes from 8 volts to 60 volts all the way up to 8 amps and this one can boost the voltage all the way up to 120 volts DC but cannot step it down so the second I ramp this up to 50 volts hoping that I can step it down here and get more current I completely forgot that this guy does not step down the voltage so I ended up sending 50 volts straight to the main board on my Creality Ender 3 and this is the SKR Mini E3 uh, V2.0 from uh, Big3 Tech 
and uh, yeah this is what happened I ended up having a huge uh, spark or should I say a pop I don't know where it came from but I could smell a little bit of uh, burn and I'm pretty sure that I messed up the main board as you can see so I quickly opened it up and uh, there isn't really much to see I thought the fuse would be blown but it isn't as you can see looks like the fuse is still good not blown at all so what can be the issue here I checked all the components I can't see no burn whatsoever so I have no idea what's wrong with this thing I can just go ahead and reuse the uh, original motherboard and take this out that's probably what I'm gonna have to do unless uh, somebody in the audience know what I can do to get this back to a working condition now I can still turn it on all right so now I have it set to 24 volts going straight to the printer and it is now turning on so the fans are running the screen is on everything works just like nothing happens until I try to print something And here it is all right homing failed printer halted please reset so if you have any clue if there is a component that I can replace on this board and get it going uh, that would be really really great if I can get this back on without having to order a new SKO mini that will be really really appreciated for now I'm gonna put this back in so I can keep it going but at least I know that the uh, power supply is defective and I cannot use this step up module which does not step down the voltage nor can I use this one by itself because the second uh, you stop printing anything it's going to require more current and this can only provide 8 amps which is uh, about half of what the original power supply can provide there is also a lot of resistance on the stepper motors as you can see all three motors But the second I disconnect the connector there is no more resistance I think this thing is fried so this is gonna be it for this video and as you can see I tried everything I could if you have any suggestions that would be really appreciated thank you for watching guys I will see you on the next one peace out